Hello guys, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives, uh, still on our mathematics info and uh, this time we just want to focus on our equations uh, as we requested guys that we need to uh, focus on this part as a, as a, as a separate, all right, as a separate, like working it separately, uh, which is the part of our equations that is working with exponential equations, all right. Uh, I want us to understand these uh, basics. From our exponents, we understand that uh, when we are given um, a to the exponent of x being equal to a to the exponent of y like this, it's a condition of uh, a, an exponent, all right? A base being raised to a certain power, a base being raised to a certain power. That is the condition of our exponents. A base must be raised to a certain exponent, a base to a certain exponent. But now, when we are saying these two are equal, these two are equal, and we can see that truly these two are the same, A and A. Once we say these two are the same, if this is the same, therefore it follows that the exponents will be equal. X will be equal to Y. Because we are saying, because we can see that the bases are already the same. So definitely our exponents, they must be the same. There's no way that these two will be different to say two to the exponent of three is equal to two to the exponent of five. It's impossible. 2 to the exponent of 3 can only be equal to 2 to the exponent of 3. The base and the base should be the same. The exponent and exponent also must be the same. That is what you're trying to say. So those are you, those were your basic questions uh, from your N3. Remember, when you're solving equations such as uh, 2 to the exponent of x is equal to 8, we just have to make sure that the bases are the same. In the base of 2, 2 to the exponent of x, 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. The bases are the same, so therefore the exponents are, are the same. x must be equal to, to 3. Sometimes you might be given uh, these, these different, like different numbers, but the, can be, be given in the same base. Like the 27 to the exponent of x is equal to 81. There I was having, okay, there's a two there, so I can write this in terms of two. No, it's not like that. You have to write in the same base, which is the common base, and it must be the simplest base. All right? If it can be the same the same base, it's fine, even though it's not the simplest base. All right? They can be, they can be something like that. It's not about, it must be, it is simplest from no. It must be the same base. So 27 and 81. These two can be taken to the base of three. Remember, 27 in the base of three is three to the exponent of three times x. 81 in the base of three is three to the exponent of one, three to the exponent of four. Since the bases are the same, it means our exponents automatically will be the same. 3x must be equal to four. All right? So what will be the value of x? Divide by three, divide by three. So x is going to give us what? 4 over 3 at the end. So this is the value of x that we are going to have at the end, or 1 and a third. But sometimes these bases can be totally different. And they can be total in a way that they, we, we cannot even, we cannot even, even make them to be the same. Let's say we are being asked to solve for x. Solve for x. Given that, 3 times 3 to the exponent of x is equivalent to 28. All right, it can be 27, it can be whatever number that you want. Okay, you are going to do, do this. The 3 here does not have the x, so it does not even affect our equation. So 3 times 3 to the exponent of x is equal to 28. I can divide by this 3 because it does not even contain x. So 3 to the exponent of x is equal to what? There, if I divide, I'm not even obtaining any exact value. That will remain like that. But if it was a condition that I'm given something like this, 3 times 3 to the exponent of x is equal to 27. 
I divide by three, I divide by three, three to the exponent of X is equal to what? A nine. I can make these to be written in the same base. Three to the exponent of X is equal to three to the exponent of two. The bases are the same. So therefore, X is equal to what? X is equal to two. But here, it is a different scenario. We cannot make this to be the same as this. So what are we going to do? That's where we are now talking about the logarithms, the introduction of our logarithms. So in this case, you have to introduce your logs. So the logarithm, you can introduce a direct log or you can introduce it as a lean. It's one of the same thing. You can introduce a normal log. I can introduce a lean. Lean both sides, lean both sides. Remember what I said from our, our exponents there. Whenever there is an exponent and there is a log to a certain number affected by an exponent, what do you do? You have to drop this exponent. So meaning to say we are going to have x, the lean of 3, which is equal to the lean of 28 over 3 like this. What are we supposed to obtain? The x. We are supposed to solve for x. What is affecting? It is the lean of 3. So I can divide by the lean of 3, both sides. So divide here by the lean of 3. It means x is going to give us this answer here, which is going to be what? So we can, can just use our calculator for the, uh, for the simplification. Uh, like I said, guys, you can use a log, a normal log, or you can use it as a, as a lean. It's one and the same thing, all right? So this is on our calculator here. Uh, you're going to have uh, a fraction, all right? Just put a fraction first. Then the lean of 28 over 3, 28 uh, that's 28 over a 3 like this. All right. Uh, divided to the lean of 3. So this is the lean of 3 like this. So that is going to give us 2, 0, 3, 3, uh, like that. So if you want to round off to 3 decimal place, you can do that. Shift, set up. You go to the fix on number 6. You fix your calculator to 3 decimal places. That will be 2, 0, 3, 3. So x is equal to what? Uh, 2, 0, 3, 3. Even if you were using a log, it's just one of the same thing. All right. I want you to see something here. Even if we are to use a log like this, all right, we are still going to obtain one and the same thing. All right. Put a log here. Uh, all right. Just put a log here like this. This will be the same thing. 2, 0, 3, 3. So whether you are using the lean as it is, or you are using that normal log that you are used it to, is just one and the same thing. And also learn to prove your answers. For the value of x that I'm obtaining, am I going to obtain this 28 if I substitute on the other side of the equation? But there, we are supposed to use exact values. What am I trying to say when I'm saying uh, use exact values? All right, this is what we had from our calculator, this one. We are supposed to use exact value. So you're supposed to go back to the normal mode, eight, then press two. It's back to the normal mode like this. So this is three times three to the exponent of X. X is our answer. So that's three times three to the exponent of the answer that we had. We must obtain what? A 28. So this gives us a 28, meaning to say our X value here is correct. So we learn to prove your answers also in exam to make sure that you are in the right path. So that is uh, what our questions can be like. All right. So for X, given that 5 to the exponent of X plus 1 is equal to 2 to the exponent of X minus a 2. It is the same thing, same applications. But this time, we have got an X and also an X on that side. But the idea is not going to change. You introduce your logarithms, all right? So you're going to introduce our logarithms here, the lean. Uh, this side, like I said, you can, you can write it as a log, all right? Or just write it as, as a lean, okay? So what follows? Once a log is there, what are we supposed to do to drop the exponents? There's an exponent on the left-hand side. We have to drop it down. So this is going to be x plus 1 
the lean of five is equal to drop the exponent on the right hand side, which is x minus two, the lean of what? The lean of two. This is what we are now having. All right. So I want you to be clear on this part. Some what they do, they simplify the lean of five, the lean of three, or the lean of two. You can even see it from your memo like that. But I, 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 I just want you to, to know that you can even simplify without finding the decimals with the lean as it is. Because if you know that lean five is a certain decimal, maybe 0, 0,2, I don't know. That is 0, it represents the lean of five. So if you are going to multiply by that decimal inside, why not multiplying by lean five? Why not just multiply by lean five? It's another step that you can take, which is not necessary to find this. I'm not saying do not do that. No, I'm not saying that. But here, because lean five, it's a number, guys. It's a number. It's just like e to the exponent of two. There's no need for you to write the decimal. It's zero comma this, this. No, 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 no. Use it as it is. Where there's that number, expand the normal way a number is supposed to do. So I just have to expand the normal way a number is supposed to do. So that is x times the lean, lean, uh, lean 5 times x. So it's going to be x, the lean of 5, 1 times lean 5. That is going to be 1 lean 5 like this, which is we are so just supposed to write it as what? As lean 5. All right. The same thing, expand the same way here by lean of 2. Lean of 2 is going to multiply x and is also going to multiply minus 2. So that's x times lean 2, which is x lean 2, not lean 2x. All right. It's x lean 2. And number times lean. Lean is just a number there. So the same thing, minus 2, when it multiplies, lean 2 is just minus 2, lean 2. Not to multiply these numbers. No. Uh -uh. Just leave it like that. Okay. What we want is to make x or to find x so we have to make x the subject there is x this side there is x also on that side collect those terms with x to one side of the equation so i can collect this side and the lean of five does not have x so what am i supposed to do with it take it to the other side of the equation so meaning to say on the left hand side i'll be left with x lean of five if i transpose x lean to the moment it crosses the equal sign what happens? It carries a negative x lean of two, which is equal to what already we have. We already have minus two lean two on the right hand side. But remember, we said we are going to transpose this because as you can see, we did not write it on the left hand side. We are no longer having it. So it means it is going to be transposed to the right hand side. It was a positive. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So that's negative lean lean five that's it just the same way you are dealing with zero comma this zero comma one it's one and the same it's a number lean lean log log two is a number use it as it is so what follows now i want x and there's x here there's also x here so what do we do we factor it out so that we remain with a common term, only x. So that means we're going to remain with what? The lean of 5 minus the lean of what? The lean of 2. This is equivalent to minus 2, the lean of 2, minus the lean of what? Minus the lean of 5. What do we want? x. And what is affecting x? The bracket. The bracket. So how do we remove this bracket that is multiplying? We divide by that bracket throughout the left-hand side by the lean 5 minus lean 2. The right-hand side also by the lean 5 minus the lean of 2. These cancels we remain with our x. So this is you and your calculator now. Just simplify at once. You, you avoid working with more decimals. You now have errors there. This one and this one you are now having. So avoid that. But I'm not saying do not simplify lean 5, lean 2. If you are capable of those ones, do, do use that one, that part. All right, so let's simplify. Minus 2, the lean of what? The lean of 2. 
all right minus the lean of five the lean of five everything over the lean here so it's going to be the lean of five minus the lean of two like that so this will give us minus three comma two six nine to three decimal places but like i said on your calculator you can convert shift set up you go to the fix on number six how do i fix to three decimal places press three so your answer to three decimal places minus three comma two six nine so that's minus three comma two six nine to three decimal places that is how your questions mostly are given mostly 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 we are going to see our questions in this nature please do revise this type of a question this type of a question it was five to the exponent of x plus is equal to this you introduce lean or like i said you can introduce a log the same part where there's a lean just put a log meaning to say it's gonna be a log there a log a log five a log just the same way a lean can be given as as a log all right so meaning to say when there's a log we are taking it as a what as a lean the same way that we are taking as a what as a, a, a the same way that we are taking a a, a, a a normal logarithm it is the same way that we take a lean so we have to be very very careful the same way or the same path okay i want us to check this one uh, another part uh, similar to this uh, we are given again to solve for x all right 3 to the exponent of 5x minus 1 is equal to 5 to the exponent of 2x plus 2 same situation introduce what the logarithms the logarithm this side the logarithm this side we drop our exponent Take note, because of what? The log that is now there. So we are now having 5x minus 1. The lean of what? The lean of 3 is equal to 2x plus 2. The lean of what? The lean of 5. The lean affects everything here. The lean also affects everything. So it's going to be 5x times the lean of 3 minus 1 times the lean of 3. So that will be 5x, the lean of 3, minus one times the lean of three, that will be minus lean three. It was supposed to be minus one lean three, which is same as minus lean three, which is equal, the lean of five affects two X. So it's going to be two X, the lean of five. Lean five versus the two, so it is going to be two lean five. Don't worry about the simplification. The simplification, we're going to do it later on. Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. The terms with x to one side of the equation. So meaning to say I can transpose this to the left-hand side and this to the right-hand side. So that means on the left-hand side, I'm remaining with what the 5x, the lean of 3. When I transpose this 2x lean 5 to the other side, it becomes what? A negative. That's negative 2x, the lean of 5, which is equal to what already on the right-hand side, I'm having 2 lean 5. Transpose the lean 3 to the other side, it becomes what? A negative lean 3 to the other side, it becomes what? A positive lean 3. It was a negative here. So the moment you transpose it to the other side, it becomes what? A positive there. So x is common. There is x here, there is x here on the left-hand side. Factor it out, then you remain with five lean of three. That is five, the lean of three, minus x is common here. So if I factor it out, divide here, I'm gonna remain with what? Minus two, the lean of five. So there I'm remaining with the negative two, the lean of five is equal to this side. Don't worry about it. The calculator is going to see it later on. Don't worry about that. It's the calculator is the job of the calculator there. That is the task of your calculator. Divide by this bracket throughout. So therefore, x is going to be what? If we divide by this bracket throughout, it is going to be 2, the lean of 5, plus the lean of 3, everything over this bracket. 
because we have divided by five lin three minus two lin five. This is what we have. If it was that our syllabus does not, we were supposed to just leave it like that. This is the answer. This is the answer. All right. But now we just have to write the executive value, uh, meaning to say from our calculator, let us simplify this. All right. So that's a fraction. Two lin five, close the bracket, plus the lin of three. Remember, our uh, my calculator is already fixed to how many decimal places to three decimal places. So it means don't be surprised there. Our answer is going to be direct to what? Three decimal places. Five lin three minus two lin five. Two lin five like this. So this will give us what? One comma eight nine eight. So that is the solution there. One comma uh, eight nine eight to three decimal places. So these are the questions that you are supposed to expect in your examination, all right? These are very, very typical questions, these one. Typical exam questions. That's how, how they, they are going to, to, to be giving you these questions. Just be careful, introduce logarithms, then simplify as far as possible, solving for what? Solving for x. All right, let us just save one or two uh, questions to conclude this. Okay, let us just save this one as our last. Or we can just try one or two questions. Again, solve for x. Okay, let's say we are given a 1 over 5 to the exponent of x minus 2 is equivalent or is equal to 3 times 2 to the exponent of x plus 1. Okay, so take note on this part. Do not worry about uh, this I'm given. This is one over five. Or Just introduce your, your logarithms. All right, we, 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 we understand that. One over five is same as what? Five to the exponent of what? Negative one. Five to the exponent of negative one. So if you want, you can write it that way. Okay, let me just write it that way. Five to the exponent of minus one, but already... There is an exponent of x minus 2. So that will be 5 to the exponent of minus x, minus x, then minus, minus, that will be a plus 2. So this whole part that we are seeing here is same as we put 5 to the exponent of minus x plus 2, which is equal to 3 times 2 to the exponent of x plus 1. So if you are to check, we can introduce our logarithms. There's no need for you to divide the 3 because it's it, it's not gonna work there's nothing that has got three here if it was multiplying why do you have to divide it just leave it like that introduce what your logarithms the lean here the lean here the lean is affecting everything so this is it this is it Yes, we are going to drop the exponent, but before that, I want to explain on the right-hand side. Let me just rewrite this one as it is. 5 to the exponent of what? Minus x plus 2. Let me just leave it like that. On the right-hand side, that's where my focus is here. What is the focus there? We are multiplying in numbers. We are multiplying numbers affected by a log, a lean. What does it mean? Remember what you had before. The lean of A plus the lean of B. Where, where was it taken from? And what it gives us. A times B. Lean A times B. Meaning to say, what made us to multiply these numbers? It was before we were adding their logarithms. The logarithm of those numbers. Meaning to say, before we were adding the logarithm of 3 plus the logarithm of 2 to the exponent of x plus 1, the lean. That, is, that was the case. That was the case. So we are now back now to the basic concept. Drop your exponents. Minus x plus 2. The lean of 5 is equal to the lean of 3 plus, drop the exponent here, that will be x plus 1, the lean of 2. 
let's expand our brackets times the lean of five, everything that will be minus X, the lean of five, right? Two lean five is equal to the lean of three. This one does not affect us, just right as it is. Expand by the lean of two. So it's going to be plus X lean two. One times the lean of two, which is one lean two, which is same as lean two. As we saw from the previous case, we had to collect the like terms, the terms with X in actual sense to one side of the equation. So if we are to transpose this X lean two to the other side, it's gonna be a negative. Already here, I'm having a negative. Minus X, the lean of five, I transpose this, it becomes a negative there, negative X, the lean of two is equal to every term to the other side of the equation. Meaning to say the two lean five is going to be transposed to the other side of the equation. Already there, there was a lean three and a lean two, which was already there. There was a lean three and a lean two. So what is going to happen with this? The moment we transpose it to the other side, it changes its sign. It was a positive, so it would be a negative. Negative two, lean five. So thus, we can factor out X from the left-hand side because X is common. So the moment I factor it out as a positive, I'm going to remain with a negative there. Negative lean five minus the lean of two. This is equivalent to the lean of three plus the lean of two and so on, uh, minus two lean of five. So divide by the bracket, therefore X is gonna be the wall of this part divided to this bracket. That is the lean of three plus the lean of two minus two lean five, everything divided by what? By this bracket that we are seeing here, which is minus lean five minus lean two. That's it. We can have the X value from it. So what is the X value? X is equal to whatever that you're gonna have here. So from our calculator, uh, like I said, our calculator is already fixed to three decimal places. So make sure you understand that when you see your, our answers here, you're having three decimal places. And so this is because we, are, we have already given or uh, tasked our calculator to give our answers to what? To two decimal uh, to three decimal places all right no problem uh this is over minus the lean of five uh sorry i forgot here supposed to remove this two lean five we're done close this bracket go down all right so that's minus here lean five minus the lean of two All right, so that's it, 0, 0,62023 decimal places. So our answer is going to be 0, 0,62023 decimal places. Uh, that is uh, the idea of these questions. All right, guys, so I want you to work out as many questions, revise your question papers, uh, try out to do as many questions as you can. So you can try out to play around these questions to find or to solve for x, two to the exponent of five x minus two. So where there are challenges, let me know about that. Five to the exponent of three x plus one. Uh, the other one, two to the exponent of two x plus three is equal to five times two to the exponent of x plus one. Uh, the other one, one over three, to the exponent of x minus two is equal to six to the exponent of x plus two. These are the typical exam questions. Five to the exponent of two x minus one is equal to seven to the exponent of three x plus a four. All right. Also, I want you to try this, this one, uh, three times, six to the exponent of x plus two is equal to 14 to the exponent of x minus one. Uh, five to the exponent of two x plus two 
is equal to four to the exponent of x minus one. These are the questions for you guys to try and see how we can solve for x, all right? How we can solve for what? For x. So I want you to try and uh, attempt these typical questions. Like I said, where there's a challenge, uh, let me uh, know so that we can work out the question that is uh, giving a challenge from these questions that we see or that we have here. Uh, so that's it, guys, from Maison African Motives till we meet again.